All right, there's something else which is really affecting uh, American business. In this time when the economy's bad and jobs are scarce, Boeing decided to put a plant into South Carolina and start building. What happened? This is the strangest distortion of U.S. law. Under a 1935 Act, you have the ability to stop a company from retribution, from reprisals for a strike or some other union activity. In this case, Boeing is expanding. They've added 3,000 jo 3, jobs in Everett, Washington. This is the Seattle area plant. Union, They're, union jobs. They're adding 1,000 jobs in South Carolina, in Charleston. That happens to be a plant that voted out the union. It's a right to work state and they voted out the union. What's happening is NLRB has come in and said, no, you can't add that 1,000 jobs. You have to add all 4,000 jobs in Seattle. Otherwise, it's a reprisal. If, if we set a standard that if you don't continually expand on your union base, if you ever try to expand outside of your union base, it's a reprisal. It is literally the forced unionization of America. I want you to hear what Karen Maloney said at your hearing on Friday. She's a Democrat. Let's listen. I support creating great jobs and reducing unemployment across the United States. But I also believe that Boeing is not above the law. And as members of Congress, we should not set aside the law to give preferred treatment to any one company. Above the law. If Boeing wants to expand and go to South Carolina for whatever reason, it, doesn't, it seems anti-American to think they can't. Well, she was doing the bidding of the ranking member. Clearly, you could see she was reading a statement that came right out of the administration. That may be their line, but that's not what the law is. It's not what 50, 60, 70 years of practice has been. If companies cannot be mixed union, non-union, and expand in the place of their choice, which happens to be the low-cost, high-production area where people want these jobs, then America will ultimately end up exporting even more jobs. The Seattle Times actually came out against this law, this law, not lawsuit, this in, uh, indictment, because very clearly Washington's looking and saying, if we do this, people won't locate here to begin with because they'll right. be afraid they can't leave. So you're exposing this, you're, you're <coughs> absolutely chairman, you're upset by this, so you're examining this, and where do we <coughs> stand right now? Are, are people in South Carolina allowed to be hired by Boeing? Are they working today? administrative law judge has not stopped them so Boeing is going ahead they've got a billion dollar investment there they have people trained what we're trying to do as oversight and reform is first expose this overstep by a so-called independent agency all Obama appointees and then go to the next part which is offer legislation to reform this misinterpretation of the act we will track uh, your investigation thank you very much always great to see you from the West Coast to Washington to New York thanks so much